Hi, I'm Erica Gamet, and this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different with the video. Take a little break from our creativity software, and I've been talking a lot about InDesign and Grep, and just maybe cover some other software that I use, some other uh, productivity software that I use to get the other parts of my job done that I do. So I just want to uh, talk about a couple different products that I use. The first one is called Simple Note, and it's basically when I'm when I'm writing, whether I'm writing an article or a class outline or even just making a list of you know, personal things like someone's coming to visit, places I want to take them, whatever. Um, it's basically a very stark writing environment. So it's not really a word processor, it's a, it's a writing environment. And like I said, it's stark. There's no formatting. So basically you can make the text bigger or smaller so you can see it on screen and you can basically change the theme to light or dark. But other than that, you can't make things bold, you can't make things italic. So um, it's just a way to get the words on the page as quickly as you can without being distracted by all the formatting. It's available on a Mac and a PC and Linux. It's available as a web app. It's available as uh, on iOS and Android as well. And they all sync together. And I think that's really the, the huge thing. Oh, and it's free. That's also cool. So for me, I like it because um, I might start working on it on the app on my computer. When I sit down to write something, I'm probably sitting at my computer. But then I might have an idea for something while I'm standing in line at the grocery store or somewhere. And I can pull up my phone and there's the article I wrote. I didn't have to do anything. It's just automatically syncing. And I pull out my phone and start typing in whatever it is I need to add to that. And when I get back to my desk, it's sitting here waiting for me. Uh, it's pretty nice. You put tags, category tags. You just tag it as, um, you know, whether it's uh, by client or type of information. For me, I have different publications I write for, different um, conferences that I'm speaking at. Those are all broken down into different tags. And it just categorizes them nicely. So I can just see just the ones for this course or this you know, seminar that I'm at. I can just see those and not be distracted by all the other ones that are out there. So that's Simple Note and it's free. I think I said that already, but if I didn't, it's free on my favorite price. So yeah, absolutely. Check out us. SimpleNote.com. The next one is called Coffee Tibbity, and this is just kind of a fun one, but it actually helps me with productivity. I like to work in coffee shops, sitting and having sort of the buzz and the activity. You know, working alone, it just kind of gets me too much in tunnel vision. So when I get out into a coffee shop, I can see people and I get that kind of buzz and activity around me that gives me kind of the energy I need to write and work. But I do it with headphones because I don't really want to hear what everybody's saying because I'm that type of person that will try and listen to everybody's conversation. So what Coffeetivity does is it gives me that background murmur. So I have it here. Let's see. Yeah, it's already open. Um, so hopefully you can see that. It just says Coffeetivity. You just hit play. You can tell it how loud you want that background to be. Um, you choose the different um, types of backgrounds that you want to hear lunchtime, university, morning murmur, they have funny names. Um, but then you can also mix in your music. So whether it's your iTunes music or Spotify, Pandora, some of the other services, you can mix the level. So how much is the background murmur, how much is your music, mix it together, pretend you're at a coffee shop without having to go to the coffee shop. So I like that when I'm sitting uh, at my desk working, but I kind of want to have that activity that I would normally get at a coffee shop. I just pop coffee, coffee activity on. It's free. Um, I don't think they've updated it in a couple years, but it's still working, so it's good for me for now. Um, the next one is, let's do notebook, actually. And for me, this is actually a notebook. And this is actually really, really low tech, I know, but I love it. Uh, for me, if I am going to write down email Bob, uh, the proof that I need to email him, if I go to my phone and start pulling up my productivity app and decide I'm going to type in email Bob, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to have notifications from Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all of those and I'm going to forget why I went to my phone in the first place. So for me, it's quicker to just write it in a notebook. And I always have this with me. I travel with it. It fits in my pocket. I like this one. Um, they're no longer making them but I really like it. It's from Mikel. Ruiz, Ruiz, sorry, Ruiz, uh, from Spain, and um, it's basically got this hard nylon cover, and it's separated into a couple different subjects, four subjects here. It's gridded paper, it's perforated, and it's spiral bound, which I like. But I like the hard cover because it makes it easy to stand and write on it when I'm standing somewhere. But what I do is I just go through and I write down every uh, all the days of the week. I write down on Monday what the date is so I can go back and find things. Uh, by date at least if I need to. But the other thing is not only do I put everything I need to do today, but I can put notes over on the left hand side of other things that um, came up that day. Whether it's a, a talk to a client, scribble down some notes, 
Um, I had to put down, you know, how much I paid for each of my bills or something. I don't know, whatever I need to, to put down over there. If I took a, a voice memo for somebody, you know, I can put that over there as well. And then that way I can go, oh, I did that on Thursday. Yeah, she called on Thursday and then I can jump to Thursdays and see all the notes that are right across from it. And then I kind of keep them. Um, I'm not really sure why. Eventually they go in the recycle bin. Uh, but right now I just kind of keep everything. And um, like I said, it's low tech, but I like it because it's also tactile and I can scratch off when I've done things. And to me, that's huge when I want to feel productive. I'm the type of person that will write down something I just did that wasn't on the list, write it down just so I can scratch it off and say, look what I did today. So there you go. And the last one is 1Password. Um, it's a password management uh, uh, software. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Um, if you have to enter passwords, I can't believe how much time I used to waste entering passwords. So for me, I like 1Password. There's a lot of them that are out there. Um, but I like it. It syncs between my phone and my desktop so that no matter what, I always have my passwords uh, handy for me. Um, so when I go, say, to my banking site, I go to the bank website, and I just hit a keyboard shortcut, remember my one master password I have to remember, I enter it, and it fills it in and hits submit, and I'm in. I don't have to remember anything but that one password. And you can keep other things in there like um, uh, uh, serial numbers, uh, your credit card numbers, including the little uh, three digit on the back if you want. Um, you can put that in there. I'm not <laughs> condoning one way or the other. I don't, you know. It's a whole security thing, um, but it is super secure. So um, if that's an issue for you. Um, but I put in things like that in there. I also have like, um, I think I said serial numbers. Uh, my passport uh, information goes in there. So I always have that. And um, yeah, just anything you want to put in there and you want to kind of keep it secure, you can put in one password. So those are a couple that I use. Um, I know I just kind of went through them really quickly. I didn't, uh, you know, if you want uh, more demos on those, I can actually do those if you want. But for right now, I just want to talk about some things that I use. Let me know uh, what things you use to get a little, uh, to get your work done, to be more productive. Let me know if you uh, like this video, you want to see more videos like this, like tools that I use or how I work. I can do uh, like workflow videos and anything, let me know. So let me know in the comments below. And also you could hit me up on social media. I'm pretty much on all the platforms as at Erica Gamut. And be sure to use the hashtag learn with Erica. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.